Hello and welcome to Programming Like It's 1979. Today we start the second phase of our NAND to Tetris course. We're going to be talking about assemblers and how to write them. So in our previous lesson, we finished building our machine. How are we going to deploy software on it? And how can we make that software easier to write? You may recall that our computer module has a ROM chip. ROM stands for Read Only Memory. The cartridges that we use to plug into video game systems, like the Atari VCS or Nintendo Entertainment System, contained ROM chips, for example. Like the ones pictured here. The main tool from the class materials we've used so far is the hardware simulator, but today we're switching to a new tool, the CPU emulator. You'll find it in the tools directory. The CPU emulator loads programs that consist of strings that represent binary values with the file name extension .hack. When you load them, this represents that program being used as the ROM chip for our computer. But of course, nobody wants to write programs by writing a bunch of ones and zeros. If you recall our Machine Language the Hard Way course, you might remember when we hand disassembled some machine code into a more human readable form. What we need to do is write a program that does this in reverse. We will start with that human readable form and generate the machine code programmatically. That's what an assembler does. And that's what you're going to be doing over the next two weeks or so. As we go along, my plan is to write this assembler in a lab-like format along with you. However, one size does not fit all, and you may not like the tools or the language I choose. So what I suggest is, pick a programming language that you feel comfortable with, and get started. Any number of languages are well suited to getting this underway, but if you need a suggestion, I think Python is a pretty good beginner's tool for this. When working on your assembler, divide your approach into two phases, direct and symbolic. By direct, I mean write a very bare-bones assembler where we assume that there are no labels in our code. Inside the Projects 06 directory, you'll find a number of assembly language programs. These are programs that end in the extension .asm. Look for the program called maxl.asm. That's written in this symbolless style. Once your assembler can assemble maxl.asm, turn to adding a symbol table to your assembler. We'll go into more detail in what a symbol table is and does in a future video, but in a nutshell, it will let you add labels to your code that will be used for jump instructions and for register names to make your program even more readable. In the directory projects 06 max, you'll find a program called max.asm. It's the same program as maxl.asm, but also uses symbols. You'll use this to test your finished assembler. As with any software project, you should try to approach this one in a systematic way. The book gives a very detailed recommendation for how they think you should write this code, even to the point of suggesting a simple API that you can use. You can find this API near the end of chapter 6, and it's summarized on this slide. Conceptually, you're going to need the following for part 1. A simple parser that can read two types of statements. The ability to keep track of what line of code you're working on. The ability to convert a decimal number into a binary string a set of functions that convert from the human readable form into binary strings. Maps or tables are probably the easiest way to represent those. You can approach this however you want, but remember that the interesting part here is how these pieces fit together. Don't be afraid to use library functions to automate the boring parts. Unless you really enjoy writing functions to generate binary strings from decimals, I'd say go ahead and use off-the-shelf solutions for that so you could focus on the bigger picture of what fits in to what. I can't wait to see what you create. Tell us about it in the comments. This has been Programming Like It's 1979. Thanks for watching.